Okay, there we have some of the leading fancies. Unfortunately, as you all know now, Riverside Theatre is out. Pat Keane, will start with you this time. Is Pocklin a good thing, do you think? I, I don't think he's a good thing, but uh, he's definitely the horse they all have to beat. I mean, Alberta's run beat him well in the race last year, but Alberta's run has been shown nothing this season, whereas Pocklin comes here on the back of a, of a, of a good, good win at Cheltenham. And I don't think there's that many more you can fancy. I mean, Tranquil C. He, he ran no race in the Ryanair last year. I don't like Kalahari King. Um, Javol ran Stinkin' Turles. Golden Silva won't run. Kempes won't run. Captain CB won't run. Um, I think you, you just have to be... I think you'll have to be with uh, Pocklin. OK, Pocklin. Ruby Pocklin, you're obviously going to ride him. I was the half an hour ago, anyway. Um, Pocklin, yeah, he's the one to beat. Um, Callahari King has to prove he stays. Tranquil Sea is two ways of running. Javal was very disappointed on her last run. I thought Andrew Lynch gave Ruby Light a great ride to win the Red Mills. Um, I think he's flattered by that victory. Govain hasn't reproduced his first run in Cheltenham and Rare Bob. He's just not good enough. I mean, by process of elimination, it's very hard to find one to beat Pocklin. Okay, fair enough. Paul Pocklin, everything good with him? Yeah, he's in good form. I think he's improved horse this year. I'll just send a Ruby. I think he stays better now than he did last year. Didn't quite get home with strongly. Um, obviously, he's got a leading chance. He just wouldn't want the ground too soft. Did someone say Summersby might run? Is there room? Who heard that? Yeah. No? Hi, Keane. I said it. It's, um, I said it. They're considering it, are they? Now? Yeah, they are yeah, considering she it. She says that he'll switch to the Ryanair if the ground is on, is on the good side. She's changed her mind again. Well, that's what she said today, anyway. Right. We'll allow her that, then, yeah. Um, right, no, anyway, I think Pocklin's got a, you know, obviously he's got a leading chance, he, he, he probably is the one to beat. Um, uh, Ruby said about the rest, Kalahari King sort of never seems to deliver, always runs well, doesn't win. Tranquil Seas obviously beaten Pocklin, I presume he'd like the ground softer, but I'm very happy where we are at the moment. Paul, just the one runner in the right now, will you run something else? Yeah, I, I mean, N Nolan's in it in the Nightingale, but they would have to have the ground boiled and un unraceable, I doubt if they'll run. OK, thank you, Paul. Uh, Paul Carberry, your thoughts? Have you any opinion on this? <coughs> I rode in that a the Vote AP um, race there in December, and I thought Patrick Killen was, was very impressive. Um, rode a good race. Um, the others, I think you can get holds in all of them. Um, Tranquil C won well the year before there. If you got back to that, so the best might have a chance. But um, Pockland for me as well. Are you a Pockland fan, Paul Nolan? It's, it's a race that we, we don't really know. If... if Henrietta decides to send her horse. His farm would look very good in it. Uh, Tranquil C runs well fresh, hasn't ran for a while. Maybe if he jumps well enough, he'll have a chance in it again. Uh, he won grade one hurdle in Punchestown on good ground. I don't think the ground shouldn't be big of an issue with him. And Andrew McNamara said he wouldn't swap him for anything in it. He's very keen on him at the moment. He's working very well. So Pockle and Tranquil C, to me, it looks a little bit of a two-horse race if Henrietta Knight doesn't turn up.